I want to get you out to one of the hardest working men in television, Jim Stratman, who is also at Churchill Downs with me, Raleigh. It's been fine. Uh, Jim, you've been getting a look at some of those thoroughbreds that are already out there practicing. You're far too kind, Eric, because you may call me one of the hardest working men in television, but I'll tell you what, the horses that are running behind me, they're working even harder this morning. It is very early. They are up and at them getting ready for their races throughout Derby week. Now, we are know that plenty of people are going to be coming out here to take a look at the, Der the Oaks and Derby horses. They'll be running, uh, probably getting their warm-ups in a little bit later on. Dawn at the Downs kicking off around 7 o'clock this morning. It's something that everybody really looks forward to. It's a really fun time. And there are still tickets available if you want one of those dining experiences experiences inside Churchill Downs. If you don't, you can still come out. Admission is free up through Wednesday from 7 to 10 for Dawn at the Downs, so you can come out and see the horses that way. Now, you can also get a really up close and personal, really kind of take a look at who these contenders are going to be for Oaks and for Derby. What you're going to look for, the yellow towels are going to indicate Derby horses. The pink towels is going to indicate Oaks horses. And I want to say I've seen one or two pink towels already out on the track uh, this morning. So we're going to keep an eye out, keep looking for some of those towels, see what kind of contenders we see out there. Plenty more coming from the backside of Churchill Downs here on this Monday, Dawn of the Downs Day, all throughout the week as well. It's set to be a really good one, Eric. We are going to keep you updated, and we'll be back with more coming up in just a little bit. All right, Jim, we'll look forward to it. Thank you so very much. Hey, we'll mention the team at Louisville's Muhammad Ali International Airport is prepping for a massive influx of travelers this week. The TSA will talk through its safety plans later this morning. Tens of thousands of people are expected to make their way to Louisville for the Oaks and Derby and the days leading up to and the days after the two biggest horse races in the country are some of the airport's biggest travel days of the year. So last year in the three days leading up to the big race, nearly 35,000 people traveled through the airport. We're going to hear from the TSA at 10 o'clock this morning. And Churchill Downs is hoping newly renovated spaces will draw more guests to the Derby than ever before. In the last three years, Churchill has updated or renovated the home stretch club, the first turn, and the paddock area for improved guest experiences. And that paddock alone is reason to go check out Churchill Downs this year. During an investor call, Churchill officials said they've already started looking into what they can do for next year. We are also evaluating an intriguing smaller project for the 2025 Derby that will enhance the guest experience in another portion of our venue. We anticipate that this will be a capital investment in the range of 60 to $80 million and have a payback of six to eight years. It's a learn and grow kind of situation. They hope to learn from the guest experiences at the newly renovated paddock area this year and they continue to bring something new to Churchill every year. Thousands of people from all across Louisville and well beyond line the sidewalks of downtown for the 69th Pegasus Parade. The annual event pulled out all the stops, bands, dancers, curlers, and of course a few elected leaders like Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg. The estimated economic impact of this parade alone typically reaches around $20 million every year, which is huge. But really, it's the memories that are priceless. Compared to as a child, I just want to mingle with friends, and now I'm creating memories with my children, building a tradition as well. Buddy, what's been your favorite part so far? Uh, the marching band and spending time with my family. That's a great answer there. The parade started at Broadway and Campbell Streets and marched west to 9th Streets. It's the third straight year the parade's been held on a Sunday. The Kentucky Derby Festival did that a few years ago, so people would have more of an opportunity to attend. Now, there are so many events happening this week to celebrate the 150th Kentucky Derby, and that includes the great steamboat race. To find a full list of KDF events, just head to our website, whas11.com. Seven minutes after six now, today Mayor Craig Greenberg will join officials from the Kentucky General Assembly to discuss investments coming to the city. Part of this could be the $100 million that was set aside for Louisville in this year's state budget. According to Mayor Greenberg, that money will be allocated toward downtown revitalization projects. Those projects include work at the Belvedere, revamping vacant lots, and launching the community care campus to provide shelter and housing for Louisville's homeless population. We'll learn more today when Mayor Greenberg makes his announcement at 10 o'clock.